Okay, first of all, who received something today? Okay. Who has anything to share? No one has anything to share? Okay, I'll quickly say something. Um, how many of us know that we are here for a reason? We are made on earth for a reason. We are put here on earth for a reason. We know where's up your hand. How many of us know the reason we are put on earth already? You know, when the Lord said, Be fruitful and multiply, subdue the earth, He was referring to the entirety of man. That means you have to subdue, you have to subdue, you have to subdue, you have to subdue. Each of us here has to subdue. But we ask God, What are you to subdue? We all collectively subdue, but what is your particular, what particular field, what part in this life are you meant to subdue? What is your exact purpose? We all together, imagine if um, I'm given a portion, this is my portion, okay, this is a land, and everyone has a portion. That's how it is. In each land, let me just, let me use, let me um, relate subduing to maybe planting. Each of us are put in different places, and in that portion you are putting, you're meant to plant a seed that should grow and bring forth fruits. That is how it should be. So have you asked God the particular portion you were given in your life? You've asked God the particular portion you were given in your life. Raise up your hand. Have you asked God the particular portion in your life you're to subdue? Don't go and subdue another person's portion. Subdue your own portion. Now everyone has a purpose to fulfill here on earth. And if you leave here without subduing your portion, you came here aimlessly. And if you do not fulfill the purpose you were given, you're, you're depriving someone else of the person's blessings. Because we are members of one another. Together we strive. Together we are subduing. And we won't, if one, the hand refuses to do the function of his, refuses to do his own function, he's depriving, he's depriving something. Something is not complete. We are made complete in Christ. And we all together make this completeness. So if you do not subdue your own function, you're depriving another. You're causing a void. So please, if you don't want to cause a void in the body of Christ, then subdue your portion. And how will you know your portion? That's by connecting to God. See, when God said that, he said that he made man in his image and likeness, it refers to the spirit man, not your physical body, your spirit man. So you can't connect to God, connect to God through the spirit. So he said that, I mean, when man, God made man to be holy and righteous, his likeness, his image, the way he is, the way he thinks. God is a subduing person. He just, like, he, he, um, he, Related himself to the lion and the eagle. He's strong. He goes for whatever he wants to go for. He doesn't think too much about it. He declares strength. So connect to God through your spirit. Have a constant fellowship with God so that God will reveal the parts you're meant to subdue and stop living a purposeless life on earth. Praise God. Does anyone have anything to share again? Now, wow. If you see your face, God, praise the Lord. Okay, let us rise up on our feet. Let us begin to pray to God this morning. That Lord, tell me my portion. I don't want to subdue another person's portion. I don't want to partner with someone else subdue the person's portion. I want to subdue my own portion. Please, our worship team, please go to the stage. Pray to God this morning. That Lord, reveal my purpose. Reveal the reason why you brought me here on earth. Who is that person? Who are those people I'm meant to impart on? Who are those people I'm meant to reveal who you are? Who are those people? Pray to God this morning. Pray to God this morning. The Lord is your Father. He has made you in His image and likeness. Not physically, no, but in your spirit, man. Spiritually. Now, pray to God. I said, God, God, I want to be like you. Every day. See, it's a constant thing. It's not a one-day thing. God continuously works in us. Every day. He should continuously work in your life. To make, to make you the perfect person that He is. In the spirit, man. And then it reflects in your physical it's reflecting your activities, it's reflecting everything you do and everything you manifest. It reflects, but it starts from the spirit. If you cannot pray first, if I'm sorry, no one else can pray for you. Pray for yourself. Tell God to reveal who He is to you. Stop living by the testimonies of others. Know God for yourself. Tell God to reveal who He is to you. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the time that it has come. Because we believe that it's timely. Lord, we pray that as we receive this word, it's not coming void, oh God, Lord. We thank you because you know your word is power and it's strength. It is might. Father, we pray that our hearts are open to receive from you even today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Please just be on our feet. Amen. I want to talk to your neighbor and just tell your neighbor, you look beautiful this morning. Because if I tell you to say something nice now, everybody will say something nice. Amen. Okay. Um, today we'll just be looking at the glory of our King. Um, I want us to open our Bibles to Psalms 48. It's a familiar verse, familiar passage. It says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole world is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. See, God is great. Um, the greatness of God cannot be, you can't measure. And we can, through the testimonies in your life, you can see how awesome God is, how beautiful he is. So this morning, I just want you to just tell God thank you. Just praise him and exalt his name because he has been the same forever. He has not changed a bit. Even despite the fact we've been unfaithful most times, but God has always remained the same. Oh, they bless you. The song we're going to take this morning says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Just worship the name of the Lord today. Lord, we give you praise and we adore your name because you're the King. You're the I am that I am. You're Yahweh. The man, the God. You're the God that doesn't change for anyone. You're the God of principles and you don't change for anyone. Lord, we bless your name and we give you praise.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Are we all happy to be in the presence of God this morning? Woo! Are we ready to give God the praise this morning? Woo! So, this morning, I want you to know just praise God the way you can. If you feel sitting down, it's where you can praise God. Sit down. If you feel shouting, it's where you can praise God. You can shout. Anyhow, you want to praise God this morning, just praise Him. Okay? Every praise. Is to our God. Every word of worship, every word of worship, we want to come. Every praise. Yeah. 
victory in Jesus. I have victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
met him and received him um, without shame or without uh, condem condemnation and, and and Thomas gratefully exclaimed and he said our Lord our God that means that you've 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 accepted him as the ruler of this earth has as everything my, that's a possessive word, my, my Jesus, my Lord, my God. So this morning, I want us to just give God the praise, the adulation. Let's just, you know, surrender our being. Let us, let us proclaim that he's our God, he's our Father, he's our everything.
to bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. Because you have won, we have also won. This is the privilege that we have as sons, that we can inherit that which you have given us, that which you have. Thank you, Abba Father, for you love us and went all the way to get the victory for us. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Why don't you just lift your voice and begin to speak to your father? Randa kere de bosso da cara bashete ya rende ke da la bosso de ke da bosso da ha re ke he da la boshte era bashete era bo Lord we worship you Jesus we give you praise hallelujah to your name thank you Jesus ma ha bosso da re ka ba thank you Jehovah
ground. And that's why we can call you Abba Father. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. We give you praise because there is none like you. There's none that can be compared to you, Abba Father. We worship you, Jesus. We give you praise. We worship you, Jesus. There is none like you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
all our praise, all our worship. And may we realize who we are in you. That we are victorious in you. We win in you. We are loved by you. We worship you, Jesus. I want us to stand up on our feet this morning and begin to pray. You know, the Bible said right from the day of the time of John the Baptist, the children of God suffers violence. And the violence will take it by force. Pick somebody this morning. We're going to do the song. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up a kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, devil is defeated, and we will shout it out. Begin to speak to your life this morning. God is fighting for somebody and start praying for that person. Back to darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of there is power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Tongue we confess that Jesus is Lord of all. God Come on, raise it up for me. For us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. And in the name of Jesus, enemies defeat. In your life today, the devil is defeated. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 